that's how you make par. Routine. I had this this vision of me going three shots up on the first hole, and uh, boy, that got washed away real quick. Oh. oh, yeah. I'll take that. I was expecting worse. Oh, oh, look at that. Hey, golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, second swing golf here in the tour van at Minnetonka, joined by Mr. Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter at our Columbia store. And while we're starting here in the tour van, we will soon be out on the golf course because we're playing kind of a head to head match with a budget of a thousand bucks to build a club set. So uh, we've went through the Minnetonka store here, yep. looking through the, the wide selection of used clubs to build a set for under a thousand dollars. And uh, actually I'm pleasantly surprised with some of the things I was able to find to build my set. I know you are I'm too. So. Stoked. I think so, it's great. So we're going to start kind of just quickly go through each club driver down to putter. Um, we'll kind of alternate, and I want you to start with your driver because okay. that is a driver I've played before. So I'm excited to see that you're you got that in the bag here. Yeah. So starting with a G30 LS Tech from Ping, uh, got it at eight degrees. This thing is in minty fresh condition. It is. Uh, came in at 170 bucks. It's pretty good. I am really really excited about this. It's. Uh, I can't believe the condition that thing is in. I know too. it's great. Absolutely great. There's there's treasure in these hills. You just got to go find it. Yeah, it's a good point. Yep. Good point. All right, so. Similar price on the driver. Mine's 160. Callaway XR okay. 16. I got an extra mm -hmm. stiff shaft as well. So nice. I knew that was kind of a thing I was looking for was that orange, got that orange sticker with yes. the X. I was yes. looking for that with my swing speed and everything. So Makes sense for you. this one uh, popped into my brain and I saw it and I'm like, that's going to be the winner. So nice. Callaway XR 16. Very nice. You got a fairway wood? I don't. I don't. Oh. I'm going straight well, to I a. Do. So. I went with the Steelhead XR, which I actually used to play. Probably never should have gotten rid of them because they were really awesome. Nice deep face, fast face, uh, 15 degrees. Looks, again, looks really, really clean, really good. This one was 120 bucks. Um, excited because mm. I know how good this fairway wood okay. is. So I skipped fairway wood and went to hybrid. I'm going to use this as a fairway wood if I need to. TaylorMade M2, it's a three hybrid at 19 degrees, extra stiff shaft. Um, so it's a speeder too. So nice. We have uh, this is an interesting one. I saw this build uh, again. The, the orange sticker popped out yeah. of me, and I was like, "This is gonna be the one." So this is one hundred and three ninety nine. So okay. So my hybrid, I actually grabbed an RBZ Stage Two Tour. Okay. Fantastic hybrids. Really, really fast paces. This was actually uh, this is the Tour Two, so it's sixteen and a half degrees. I cranked it up to 18 and a half because otherwise it's going to go too close to the three. Wood. Yeah, it will. Um, this one's awesome. And it's in, again, this thing's in just look at the, look at With the, the white it crowns is like minty that. Fresh. Yeah, it is. So good. $80. That is a good, actually, that's like, phenomenal. Like, I'm tempted to actually buy this because it's so good. <laughs> to see a white crown club like that in such good shape. I know. This, I mean, that's a club that's what, 10, 12 years old? Yeah, we're talking absolutely. About. That's pretty good. Um, so it's funny because we typically don't have irons that are this color and you don't have clubs yes. that are that color, but yeah. I've got um, kind of black. These are Ben Hogan PTX Pro irons. Nice. Um, they're kind of compact. I like mm -hmm. that. Um, also, they have the extra stiff, right? KBS Tour V. Oh, Tour V. Nice. So Actually, Tour V is great shaft. So I'm going to go with these and I got four through pitch here. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just set them up. I like the way they look. I, I saw that orange X yeah. sticker again yeah. and I was like, hmm. So all, we're going to go with these ones. All very helpful. So I grabbed a set of Cobra BioCells, uh, four through gap wedge. Okay. So cover up a good portion of the bag there. Uh, yeah, these are a little bigger than what I've been playing, but it is, it's for me, it's the right company. Yeah. And uh, these were $350 for, for eight pieces. It's pretty good value there too. I feel really good about it. they look great too. I mean. Yeah, I think the loss are going to end up being very similar to what I'm currently yeah. playing. So unlike in our, uh, in our, our Clearance one, yes. where the lofts are crazy different. Yeah. This is going to be a little more similar to what I'm right. used to. So down to the wedges, I've got two of them. I'll just go both my wedges here at once. So I've got 54 and 60 degrees. I figure my pitching wedge on my Ben Hoga set is going to be around that 46, 47 yeah. degrees. So I went 54 and I went 60. The 54 okay. degree is an SM4 uh, from Titleist, Vokey. Um, and then the 60 degree is a Cleveland RTX 588. Nice. So uh, both, you know, I, I kind of want to keep the groove somewhat fresh, but again, mostly on the 60 degree, I want it to be still okay. And yeah, there's definitely some wear there, but sure. that's uh, I still like it and I like the way it looks. 
I need my 60 degree wedge nowadays. I need to get that ball in the air. So. Yeah, that was the one thing I'm missing in my uh, my clearance set. So I went 56 60. Okay. Uh, it's very similar to what I'm currently gaining. Um, got an RTX zip core, 56 degree mid bounce. I like that little higher bit of bounce. Yeah. And then we have, I found a, a very nice uh, Vokey SM7, 6012D grind. Mm. Love the D grind. Yeah, a little bit of wear there, but I figure there's going to be enough to make the ball stop in yeah. a reasonable amount of time. So pretty excited about the wedges. All right. And then lastly, the putters. So I'm using, this is again, we're, we're since there you wasn't any- You stuck with it. Since there wasn't any putters in the clearance. So for the yeah. clearance video, um, we just used, you know, kind of a cheaper used putter. At least that's, I'm sticking with the same one. So this okay. is the two ball blade that I found. Uh, 63.99, pretty good value. There's obviously some wear on it, but- yep. um, no toe hang, which uh, I'm a relatively straight back, straight through putter. So okay. I needed that. And then I, I like the grip too. It's for being as worn as it is. It kind of looks okay. So we're yeah. going with that. Nice. So I did switch out putters because my putter for that uh, clearance was nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, and so I found a, a nice spider blade. Okay. Uh, it's got my, my plumber's neck. This one's got a little bit extra length to it. I think it's probably 37 inches. It's not poking me in the gut, so it's probably, <laughs> no, it's not 38. Um, grips on upside down, so, oh no, it's not. I guess it's a wrist lock. Just feels like it's upside down. So this should be, I like a little bit of counterbalance. I like choking down a little bit. So this one should be uh, pretty decent. All right. You know, with these, you just really don't find, you know, the, the white yeah. heads in very good shape. They're, right. They're just there's, tough. A few, there's a few on there, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, but it's, seems, it's totally playable. It's built some character yeah, over absolutely. the years. Character. So, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So, all right. So we're going to use these clubs for six holes, see what we score. Um, I have a feeling you're going to beat me, but you know what? I, I'm very confident. Uh, yeah, clubs you've, that I put you've got a great set there and it's, it's, uh, you got all X flex, which yeah. is great for yeah. you. And we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, let's put you off then. Yes. Do that. All right, Kevin, we're here at Greenhaven Golf Course in Anoka for the $1,000 budget challenge. We talked about our clubs already. Um, how are you feeling now this morning? You got to hit your putter a little bit too. I don't know about the putters. You don't know about the putters? You're having some regrets already? We haven't even played yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, uh, <laughs> first hole here is this is straight away par four, easy cool. way to get going. So nice. um, let's go do it. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're teeing off of this thing. All right. All right, that's no, okay. No harm, no foul on that one. Big high bleeder. Yeah. Okay. I'll take that. I was expecting worse. I, was, I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was a pretty competent first, first swing of the day. Here we go. We're okay. in the same spot, actually. Yeah, well, you told me to hit it right where you did. Yeah. Well, it, it survived the first swing. That's good. That's the hardest part, man, is the wedges. Like, I have no idea what, how far I can hit these things. I don't know what the loft actually is. Yeah, that's the best part about this whole thing. No, it's great. 105. 105. I mean, that looks really good if it's the right club. Just a little below. Oh, all right. It looks really good. I don't it's not know. bad. It's not bad. If you go out there and birdie the first hole, that's not going to be great <laughs> for, my, for my vibes. <laughs> I got my 54 degree. There's a ton, there's a gigantic wear mark on this thing. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Is it a good wear mark? It is actually. It's pretty good. Okay, yeah. that's good. But uh, 54 degree, I'll swing probably like 80 percent. So I also have about 105 yards. Little left. Oh, a little deep too. Yeah. Again, it says 54, but is it actually 54? I hit a 56. I don't know what it was. Well. I don't know what the lie angle was. I guess we'll see. I might have to pull out that 60 now. <laughs> well, you only got a downhill lie. Also the grain's going this with, way. With a good bit of space to carry with green going away from you and your And the grass is growing this feet. way. So I might chunk this. Yeah. 
that, that'll do it. All right, now I at least have a good lie. Oh, oh, look at that. That's how you make par. Look at that. Routine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. 60 degree RTX 588. That is basically doesn't have grooves anymore. <laughs> Hold on, that, will you? Yeah. I got a birdie to make. Oh my goodness. How about that for a start? It's going to be great when I uh, chip in and it leaves the whole spill. Oh, it didn't turn. All right. All right. We're square. That's the conventional way to do it, folks. Yeah, I know. That's that's a boring par. <laughs> I love boring <laughs> golf, though. Boring <laughs> golf is good golf. Oh, I don't man. know why I brought my putter with me. I don't need that. I got hosed. All right. Dog leg right. Gets a little skinny up there after the dog leg. So I got five iron. Just trying to hit it to a point where I have a shot at the green. And I almost shanked it. I love laying up for accuracy and then hitting it in the trees. That's always fun. I'll chip in for par, don't worry. <laughs> That's uh, short enough. It's going to be great. All right. I haven't hit a fairway yet. Oh, that one kept running. All right. You got some tree trouble. Tree left, tree right. Okay. Not good card golf or camera golf. <laughs> no, matter. it's not. No. I'm going to just hit it out this way. As lame as that might be. Really gonna rely on it's that 60 degree the wedge, eh? But that's all right. I'll get up and down from there. This thing's a 90% error, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. That'll work. Oh, get out there. That's all right. That's the first time I've hit a four iron in like 15 years. We're going to that 60, the trusty 60 that just hold out with. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty good. Just a little left of the pin. Go a little bit. All right. I think I'm a little short of oh, it. Oh, coming back. False front. Yeah. False front. If I can just hit the same shot that I hit on the second hole at the Senior Open the second day where I missed the green, uh, perfect shot. Get up there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, it's falling back down. No, stop. <laughs> stop. We're going to have the same putt. Oh. This pin might be really evil. I can't see from here, <laughs> but it might be really <laughs> evil. This is going to be all about speed. This is my first actual putt. <laughs> Go. It wasn't that bad. Did you hear all that sounded? Sounded a little clacky. I haven't heard a non-clacky putter from us yet, though. Go, 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 go! Oh, man. Oh. I need to mark that one. I was really happy with that, too. Hey, look, we're tied. How about that? Yep. Take fives. <laughs> so 183 downhill. Mm -hmm. Over is no bueno. So I've got eight iron, assuming it's gonna be short unless I something crazy happens. Unless I do oh that my. and pull hook it. Four left. Oh my. Is that in the sand? No, that flew everything. Are you sure? Yep. Pretty sure. Okay. It's not good. <laughs> not good. All right. So I'm guessing here, I'm going with the seven. This would normally be a six iron for me, but I'm going to go with the seven. Let's see what we can do here. Right at Sean. Four Sean. Oh, short oh, in the bunker. sand. Wow. See, I think mine might be in the sand. I don't think yours is in the sand. I think you hit it past everything. I just gotta make sure I get under the ball here. 
And my feet are halfway in the sand, half out. Go. All right. It's on the green. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good shot. Thank you. Advantage Kevin. Wow, that didn't break like I thought it would. Uh. Huh. Kind of going like that. Tell you what, I'm pretty impressed by this golf course. It's, yeah? in, real, it's in great shape. Greens are good. Bunkers are really good. Get that out for you. Everything's good. Thank yeah, you, sir. It is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a save. Thank you. All right. Kevin's up a shot. <laughs> yeah, you're probably good to go here. And you got good. the box, so. I like these uh, downhill filthy tee boxes. You can tell this is a, an old school golf course. Yep. What I grew up on. Got a lot of wildlife in front of you, too. I love the wildlife. Oh, that felt terrible. <laughs> Hanging a little right. I think it's fine. It's I just, didn't see it down. It, I saw at least one bounce. Okay. It's gonna be okay. right rough for sure. That is the not... only thing is it does obviously it comes a lot closer. Right. On the yeah. Right, of course. So. Yeah. I didn't hit that great, so All right. you know, I'm not terribly worried about it. I've got the M2 hybrid. I am uh, playing it a little bit safer. Uh oh. Oh no. That's gotta be okay. Yeah, you hit the you hit the inlet. Okay. Whew. No, no splashes. That's a big time miss, but no splashes. The forgiveness of the M2. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Barely made it over. Just trying to hit an eight iron in play over there. I got 193 to a tree back there, so I'm staying short of that. I didn't see anything. You guys see anything? Busted up the club a little bit. Well, I don't know where that is. Yeah, that's gonna be good. If it, uh... It's all I wanted, just get her out, get her down there. Couldn't go for it, didn't have a good enough lie. Don't know where well, I'm going. At least you know where your ball is. Well, there, there is that. You know. Keep dealing with hazard and stuff. Get over the bunker. Oh yeah. Okay. I think it looked okay. It got a good kick too. Let's see. Oh God. Uh-oh. Nice. Well, that didn't come out of the divot very well. <laughs> We're having our own struggles here, huh? The fifth hole, or fourth hole. Okay, here we go. You told me this was gonna be a tough one. <laughs> well, I didn't want to chunk it out of there. I don't think this is what I wanted to do either, though. Did you get oh, yourself yeah, a look over perfect. there? <laughs> oh, goodness. Who put this tree here? Oh, God, that's great. Go. That's pretty good, actually, from there. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for some dramatics. Flag out? Flag out. Wow. That is, this guy's confident or he's crazy. You know what? Probably should have left. There. Yeah, you probably should have. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's good by me if you want it. It's an official match. I'll, uh, I'll tap in right. for, my, for my really solid bogey here. Oh, well, I got, I might have bogey myself here. I got to pop against the rail. Oh no. So there's a little piece of pizza left in that box. Yeah. Oh no. Oof, duh. Oh no. Mm. 
right. Oh, I had a chance to. So in a in a great nod to the to the Pro V1, if I had hit the shot that I hit out of that divot with a Torbalata, yeah. it would be spilling its guts right now. But there's <laughs> really like no mark whatsoever on this golf ball, even though I thoroughly boned it out of that line. Mm. All right, four holes in. We got two left. What are you what are you thinking so far about these clubs? I need more time yeah. to get adjusted. Yeah. I just don't know them. Yeah. Um, and I would have loved to have had a nice, I had a good second shot there. I would have liked to have a not in a day. Yeah, that, that did kind of mess with you. That, um, mess with that kind of, that's the reason you bogeyed it. And I kind of gave it back by missing the three footer there. Three wiggle. Yeah. yeah. But um, I, I hate that putter. I hate it. I'll just say it. <laughs> uh, it's an old, I don't, it, it feels weird. It sounds weird. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm just hate, glad I chipped in on the first. I don't time. hate this one. It's it's okay. Okay. Like I'm getting used to it, but uh, we'll yeah. see what happens. Later so we got two par fours left. They're pretty yep. straightforward yeah. up the hill. You've got the one stroke lead. Mm -hmm. You got to protect it. I need two birdies. You don't want to lose to me right now. I don't want to lose to you right now. No, of course not. Oh no. Hanging right. That's not good. You might be far enough right where you're fine, actually. No. That's gonna be right in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Those are the most opposite tee shots ever. Oh man, that is great. Fantastic. So got 173, block this tee shot a little bit to the right. I've got an alleyway, so I can get the ball going forward, but I've gotta go opposite my normal my normal action. I like to turn the ball over. Uh, this one's got to work left to right. So we're going to try and hit a little punch cut six iron and see if we can't chase this thing up on the green. Drew's got Drew's got a pretty easy, pretty easy look at this one, I think. That's pretty good. Well, I didn't hit it very good. Yeah. I get, did cut it, but it's going, it's a little short. It's not a terrible spot but definitely not what I would have uh, liked to see. 148, I'm hitting a cut nine. I think these irons can do that. I actually have a pretty good look over here being so far left. Cut some more, uh oh. I think it's okay. So I'll tell you what, for not hitting the green, this is about as good a spot as you can leave yourself. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. All right, you ugly putter, help me out here. You love this putter. Oh, sit. Oh, sit. Four, Sean. Uh, do you like me to leave the pin in still? Yeah, actually. Okay. No, don't. Take it out. <laughs> well, I didn't know how, hard, how fast this one was going to be coming back up. So I had the advantage. Ah, it's good five. Solid. Oh, that's annoying. I'm just giving this to Kevin. He didn't earn any of this. Wow. Okay. Well, something crazy has to happen on this last hole. <laughs> hey, this is the, we don't know these clubs. Anything could happen. I'm gonna go a little softer on the uh, putting stroke next time too. Yeah, I think that one jumps off the face pretty good. It sounds like it jumps off the face pretty yeah. good. Oh, you got a two shot lead with one hole to go. Okay. All right. Two shot lead. I have no idea where this tee shot's gonna go. I've hit. That's the spirit. That's yeah, I love to hear. I haven't hit. A, I haven't hit a good shot with it yet. Actually, I mean the first hole was all right. If I put this but... in position. I feel like I can make a birdie here. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, that's gonna be you great. You got a good one, folks. That's gonna be great. 
Look at that. Probably okay. gonna miss the fairway. All right. Well, now I really have to get in over there, but I think that's in the fairway. Is it? I think All so. All right. Nice. Woo. Oh. Oh yeah. Hang on. Look at that. Look at the towering Rory McIlroy trajectory oh, that on that left one. though. That it was might have, excellent. It might have tree trouble on the left. That was excellent. But I have a chance, I think. I think that's going to do it for me. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That's got to sit way down. Oh, flew it a little far. Yeah, I crushed it. Ah! Kind of have to make this. Even then, I pretty much don't have a chance. But... Come on, baby, run it out. Get in there. Oh, that Get was in a there. shot, too. Oh, Drew, what a great shot. If I had like a couple more feet of roll, yeah. it's probably dropping. It was it was turning in there perfectly. Kind of oh I can't really clean that up. That's actually a couple feet. Ah, oh, you can clean that up. I don't know I missed one like this earlier, but if I just go hurry up and hustle and make it, right? There you go. <laughs> Far. Oh, he's done it. With a birdie to finish. <laughs> good match, sir. Thanks. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was really good. That was well played. Oh, I didn't think we'd see. I kind of like this putter now. I mean, if it if it wasn't, you know, the old tailor-made white, I was all banged up. I would maybe it's available on SecondSuite.com. Uh, it is used. Yeah. So, if you really want it, you can probably. Yeah. Somebody can pick up I a know putter. A guy who Look, get it for you. We, we now know that this putter can make putts. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, what did you finish? One over? One over. And I finished four over, which actually four over I'm okay with, given the circumstances. But, yeah. I mean, that's just, that shows the kind of golfer you are. Well, I don't know. I, you I, like your club selections? Uh, overall, yeah. Um, driver did not feel good to me. Okay. Uh, but, you know, three was okay. good. I never hit the hybrid. The hybrid's going to be good. Irons were fine. Wedges were great. So, yeah. Yeah. And this thing actually, after the first hole, actually was, ended up being pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. Yeah. So. I, I for was a thousand bucks. Um, yeah, if you make a if you make a, a bad decision on a driver, uh, thirty day playability guarantee. Just take there it in, we'll swap it out, and get something else. That's pretty much but, what I was gonna say. For the I'm, fact that we just put these sets together really quickly yeah. in just a few minutes yeah. in the Minnetonka store, really well done. So, yeah. um, I guess this final message is golfers use selection. Second swing is the largest in in golf. Yeah. So if you need if you have a budget, cheap budget, cheap set. Secondswing.com is a place to go. Come shop see us. We'll help or, you pick it up. Or in the stores. Yeah. yeah. So, Kevin, thanks. That was a lot of fun. That was great.